been racing for just this last year, uh, 2021. Decided to go into tri racing. Tried with the No Limit Race Series this year, with Standard Twins and Retro 400s. And I've done four events this year uh, with No Limits. To start with, sort of a bit of back wobbling uh, for the first couple of rounds. Probably the first couple of races in the first round until we got to Croft. Uh, where we was able to work out some different parts of the bike, things that worked right with the bike in the first couple of rounds. Uh, so then we were able to alter and change that stuff and then give ourselves a bit more of a chance. My first outing at Donington ever, first time on track there, uh, managed a P7 in class, which then turned into torrential rain, one of the biggest downpours Donington's ever seen, so I was told. Uh, but then that, that first race in the torrential downpour uh, managed a P4 in class I managed to get to right to the very sharp end of, of, of my class so to speak with a bike in the first weekend where we knew it was right from there it's last round that I raced this year was at uh, Cadwell Park bike was finally on point but the we didn't really have race rubber uh, but still managed to get down into sub 150s and down into like the 140s started out as a bit of a laugh, it's now all become very serious, the, the planning, the preparation for the bike, uh, training, you know, I've gone back to training after not training for years, so, you know, there's, there's quite a lot that goes hand in hand with, you know, trying to get that little bit extra edge and, and getting a bit quicker on the bike. Sort of noticed in the first couple of rounds that even though it was only over nine lap races or sometimes ten lap races, uh, there is quite a lot of fitness involved and if you're not doing it, somebody else is and they'll generally be quick, you know, because they can go hard and faster for longer, you know, and, and that's what I found with it, so I instantly set back to training. Oof. Well, biggest rivals this year have been a couple of guys who I've met, uh, that I get on great with, a guy called Gareth Rose, but uh, I met Gareth and a couple of guys pretty quickly uh, when we started racing. Seemed to be in the same sort of group or group of riders that these guys were in. Gareth and a guy called Clive, uh, Clive Jarvis, they, them two became sort of my carrots, so to speak, while I was racing. Uh, so 2022, I've managed to in my first year, I've managed to get eight signatures for my uh, novice intermediate license, my race license. Uh, so I'm, I've got one more round which will be Snetton 300 in March. That'll be my last two, two signatures to get me to Clubman license. The plan is, is to then push on towards National. So I want to get to the Clubman. Again, it's the same format again. Another 10 signatures, but then I have to be above the average 92.5% uh, race pace of the, the finishing lead rider in my class and I've already touched on that this year already in my, my novice intermediate licence so I'm pretty close to that, that average already. My dream is to race at Oliver's Mount. You know, I, I, I've lived in Scarborough for over 30 years. I've grown up here and obviously the Oliver's Mount and the road racing that's the only place in England that still road races holds a, a massive historic thing to me of, you know, of how much it means you know, as a place to come and actually even to think that there might be a possibility that I might be able to put a newcomer's bib on one day and actually set off out round, you know, what I, place that I actually class as home. The support I've got locally is really, really good. Uh, quite surprised if I'm honest. I didn't think there would be as much support, you know, in, in trying times with COVID and everyone, everyone else sort of struggling with businesses and things. Because I'm local, quite well known locally, and and obviously just letting people know what the sort of the dream was, what we're sort of trying to do, not fooling anyone with what what my abilities were, or you know we've, we've just set the goalposts out. This is this is what we're where we're at uh, for 2022 with the, with the help from from all my sponsors, you know Green Gator, uh, S and M Joinery, Scarborough Four, uh, Altered Carbon, uh, Nexus. Focus Workwear Supplies. I've got SB Promo vids that have come on board uh, to, to sort of document some of my coverage this year, uh, just to try and get a bit more out there uh, and just sort of see where that takes us. Main driver of it all is, is family. You know, being you know trying to see where 
where I can get. We've, we started out and this is not really keen on motorbikes, uh, so that didn't go down great. Uh, but we managed to get her to a couple of rounds uh, and it's been talked about now a few times, so she really enjoyed it. It's different, I think, for people stood watching people we know. I've sort of had quite a lot of feedback from people that know me that came to watch this year and normally you just go and watch people you see off the TV and it's like, oh, that's so and so, but kind of don't know them. Uh, so to have that sort of thing this year was, was really good as well, so that, that drives me on as well, you know, doing them all proud now. No endurance at all with preparation. Uh, I'm really, really lucky. Uh, I've got a really special guy that helps me uh, full time, which is uh, Michael Moore. He basically stores, preps, cleans, gets the bike completely ready from start to finish, stripping it down, putting it back together. Obviously, if there's ever any crash damage or anything, uh, anything at all, Michael's normally a busy guy. Uh, but yeah, without, without Mick this year, I don't think I'd have been able to progress as quick as I did as well, uh, with having someone full time on the spanners uh, and, and obviously looking after all the bits. So it's just a huge commitment from everyone involved. Uh, that goes back to Mrs, you know, the son. You know, everybody has to sort of chip in to help me get prepared, you know, so that we can go away. It's not tiddlywinks at end of the day, it's racing. So, you know, there is, there is a dangerous and a serious side to it all. Uh, but yeah, really, really enjoying it.